It's uh, Sunday morning and uh, it's just coming up to uh, quarter to seven and it's time for uh, this week's story behind the song with our uh, resident singer, songwriter, uh, musical genius, uh, David O'Connell, who brings you the story behind this week, The Day Thou Gavest, Lord Has Ended. Today's featured hymn is one of the most popular of all time and it came in at number three in the 2005 Songs of Praise poll. It was written by a priest, later canon, John Ellerton, in 1870. It's believed that he wrote it in Cheshire during his nightly walks to teach at a local mechanics institute. The hymn is The Day Thou Gavest, Lord, Is Ended. It's often sung at funerals and, of course, as an evening hymn, but many argue that it is actually a hymn of mission, celebrating the expansion of Christian belief around the world. It uses the image of the sun shining down upon the rotating globe, bringing day and then night in succession to each country in turn. Prayer and praise go on unceasingly. As night comes to one place, dawn is coming to another. Somewhere on the earth at any one time, people are awake and God is being worshipped. It's a supremely confident, encouraging picture, possibly reflecting the self-assurance of a nation with a vast empire. Indeed, the hymn became popular when Queen Victoria chose it for her Diamond Jubilee in 1897. Poignantly, it was also sung a hundred years later when Britain handed over control of Hong Kong to China, one of the final chapters in the story of Britain's empire. But Ellerton's hymn is not jingoistic. He's extolling God's everlasting kingdom, not Earth's proud empires which fade away. The hymn is sung to an attractive tune named St Clement. It was written by the Reverend Clement Schofield and has a 3-4 waltz time signature.
BBC Radio Berkshire with the day thou gavest, Lord, has ended. And that's this week's story behind the song. And uh, we'll return next week with another one around about the same time, another uh, story behind him or song that you know and love with David O'Connell with some of the uh, really interesting stories behind those songs. Uh, so another one next week, as I say, right here on BBC Radio Berkshire. Sunday breakfast on the way from 7, but we've got another kind of 10 minutes to play some...